So to produce the tangential curves on this axis and on this axis. So as you all know, the radius for this right hand circle is radius 12. Why the radius for this left hand circle is radius 25? And the distance from the center of each of the circle, a distance separating them is what? Is 50 mm. Okay, so how do we get the curve at the top here and the curve at the bottom? The very first thing you need to denote is which one is internal, which one is external. The curve at this top here is what? It is external. And for this reason, we are using the addition principle. Okay, so the radius for the arc itself is what? Is 40. Why the radius for this is what? Is 12. So 12 plus 40 is what? Is 52. So with your compass, measure 52 and place it at the center of radius 12 here and draw your first arc. Yeah, with 52, I draw the first arc, which is that, right? So 40 plus 25 is what? Is 65. And this is it. Placing at the center of this of this radius 25 here, I'm going to draw with radius 65. That's it. So that is where they intersect. Having done that, the next thing is what? Pick your compass and measure radius 40. So with your radius 40, place it at the point of intersection. Yeah, which is here. Then what? Then draw. Okay, can you see? So that is the first uh, tangential arc there. That is the first tangential arc there. Okay, so to get the arc at the bottom here, what do we do? All right? So this arc at the bottom here is what is internal. So we are introducing the principle of what of subtraction. So and the radius of the arc is what is 80. 80 minus 12 is what? That is 68. 68. So pick your compass and measure 68. After measuring 68, place it at the center of the set of radius 12 and strike an arc towards the top here. Yeah. Towards the top here, yeah. right? Then that same 80 minus radius of the circle here, which is what 25. 80 minus 25 is what? That is 55. So pick your compass, measure 55, and also strike an arc with this center. Okay, so this is the point of what of intersection. The next thing is what pick your compass and measure mark 80 on your ruler. Yeah, all right. All right, then what you draw your tangential curve, which is this. Okay, so that is it. Kindly ensure you subscribe to this YouTube channel and also ensure you refer it to your friends who might be in need of it. Thank you.